Okay, ahead to tomorrow. So as we broke it down for you again, I tweaked it just a bit today from two to seven, said two to six yesterday. So we'll increase in an hour. 40 mile an hour gusts. You folks on the east side of town will get the brunt of the winds. Now, as we look ahead to the next seven days, you see 40 tomorrow. We outlined again. That's the first alert day. Winds will be out of the southwest. Then the winds start to come down breezy in here on Friday. Certainly not as strong as what we expect tomorrow. But the problem with Friday is going to be colder. And look at the winds will be directly from the north heading down to the south. So we'll have a little bit of a wind chill going on. So I know Friday night football games. A lot of you folks might be going out to see a movie out to eat, whatever the case is. Certainly some of you will need the jacket. Then over the weekend, winds will look like a problem Saturday and Sunday, and then they start to pick up a little bit on Wednesday. Low and windy at this point with those gusts at 30 miles an hour. Uh, check out the low temperatures that we've had so far this season. Uh, you look here in El Paso, above freezing at 39, 37 in Las Cruces. That's over at New Mexico State University. If you head west of town and go out to the Las Cruces Airport, they did dip down to 32 degrees yesterday morning, 29 in Deming, 37 up at the Truth or Consequences. Now, if you look at our forecast for Halloween right now, it looks good. That's the good news, 74 degrees. So we're going to be looking at the generally light winds throughout the day on your Monday. Here's some additional factoids about Halloween you know, going back to the late 1800s. The most rainfall we had nearly three quarters of an inch, 1901, and it has rained on Halloween. I was researching this yesterday, 14 out of the past 143 Halloween periods. So, you know, you're talking about uh, about 9% of the time we see some rain. All right, here's your weekend, 68 degrees on Saturday, 74 expected on Sunday if you're going to be Heading to the Lao and Young Corn Maze up in the Mesilla Valley Maze there, Saturday 67 and 72 on Sunday. Again, the wind should be light for the most part, and we're looking at some pretty comfortable temperatures. Here's the overnight lows. 40s, right around 50 degrees across El Paso County. High temperatures tomorrow. Again, the winds will be the biggest factor. Mid to maybe some upper 70s here and there. Depends on when this front can get through here. We really think towards uh, late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. All right, overnight tonight, we'll drop it down to 49. Tomorrow, we're looking at a high temperature of 75 degrees. So all in all, other than the winds, the least temperature is going to be on the warmer side. 44 overnight for you guys in Las Cruces. Tomorrow, your high temperature will make it up to 70 and watch over the next several days. So we go 64 on Friday, get a northerly wind, 68 on Saturday. The weekend looks good. 74 expected on Sunday, Halloween 74, 77 on Tuesday. 73 on Wednesday, Mark.